Hello and welcome to Crafting with Madam K. So today I'm going to show you a really cool trick that I discovered today and it makes stitching and punching holes in the leather to prepare for stitching so much easier. So one of the leather pattern um, artists that I follow on Etsy and Facebook, um, and if he's cool with them, I'm going to put a link to his site in the, um, in the notes. His patterns are awesome. So he already always recommends tape the pattern down to the leather first and then cut and then punch the holes in the pattern, which is a great idea because if you accidentally don't follow the line perfectly straight or you get too close to what would have been the edge, when you're cutting the pattern out, you can then adjust for that and make sure that you don't accidentally ruin an entire piece because your stitching line is wrong. So to take that one step further, instead of taping it down with several pieces of tape, I used Cricut transfer paper, which is um, just like clear, clear tape, big sheets of clear tape that has lines and grids on it, which is awesome because it helps you line it up and tape the pattern down to that first, being able to line it up and use as little leather as possible with it, getting them as close as possible, and then tape that directly down to the leather. And then I just went through and I actually just cut the holes. You can see them. I punched all the holes in the pieces and it didn't move at all. Nothing shifted around. Everything stayed exactly where it needed to be. And it made punching these holes a total breeze. I think I punched the whole thing in 20, 25 minutes. And I wanted to use my three hole punch, um, my Cinebrox baby that I got for my birthday. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Um, but a lot of these are wavy lines in the stitching. So I had to do one punch. So one at a time, I punched all of these holes in less than 25 minutes and it was a super breeze. So the other awesome thing about using the transfer paper is when I cut the patterns out, it's going to basically be like it's laminated because it's going to have that sheet of transfer paper on it and then it's going to be already um, thick like it's laminated. And then if I want to use it again, I would transfer paper it down again and every time I cut it out, it's going to be laminated over and over again, making it even more durable every time. That's at least my hope and my thought. And it also depends on how many times I want to make this pattern over and over again. Um, so anyways, that's a really easy trick. You can get the Cricut transfer paper from Joanne Fabrics. From um, You can even use just clear contact paper that you can get from Dollar Tree. And yep, that's it. I haven't done a video in a while, so sorry. It's a little bumpy. This is my first time back in over a year. So um, hopefully there'll be a lot more to come. And thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, check out the next video. Subscribe to my channel. It may not be the right way, but it's the Madam K way.